G'day, welcome to Epic E-Bikes. Today we're going to install a speed unlock chip and a Kona remote control. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe to help us make some more. Today we're going to get started. We're going to take off this cover here above the crank. You don't need to touch the crank arm on this particular model. Okay, on this model it's really simple. All we've got to do is take off this Torx key. Torx bolts, whatever you want to call it. Okay, next step, you come around to the other side, you take off this Allen key bolt up the top, and then this one near the chain. Pop off this cover. Okay, now we undo this Torx. Once that Torx is undone, You'll be able to pull off the cover from the other side. Okay, now the cover's removed. We're going to look at these motor connectors here in the middle. Here's the main four pin connector. Just pull that out gently. And here is the other connector, this is the speed sensor. In this case, it's a light gray plug. This is the one we want. If your motor has multiple plugs with two pins, you want the light grey one, not the blue one and not the black one. Okay, once you've got the motor plugs unplugged, you get your speed chip. Here we've got our Bosch standard chip. We've got our quick connectors. Plug in one to the four pin clip with the pin sticking out in the second one to the two pin with the pin sticking out. Then we'll get the four pin motor plug and we want to line it up yellow to yellow. Clip it together with the colors matching. The speed sensor, it's the same principle. Except this time you want to match black to black and white to red. So there we go, we have white to red, black to black. Now we get the plugs off the chip. We plug them back into the motor. These can only go one way. So if you can't get it in, it doesn't feel right, just flip it over. Okay. There we go, now it's installed. We can do a quick test. We'll pop the chip there. Get nice and close. Now when we turn on the bike, both lights on the chip should light up. There we go, they briefly lit up. That means that the chip's functioning. If we press the walk button to activate the chip, now see that the red light's flashing. This means the unlock's active. We press the walk button again. Now the chip's deactivated and the bike's back to standard. Okay, the next step is to tuck the chip away. There's plenty of space in this Kona. Some bikes is quite tricky. You just got to keep playing with it until you find a spot that'll work under the cover. In our case, we've got the plugs here and the chip tucked down here. You just put your cover back on. Screw it into place with this screw. Just tuck the cover in a little bit. And then go around to the other side to finish it off. Okay, first pop our long bolt through to the plastic cover we just put back on. We get our other cover, slot that into place, reinstall the two Allen key bolts. Okay, we're all done. Okay, now we've got the chip installed, we'll turn on the Purion display. We can unlock by pressing the warp button. Now you'll notice on here, we got 2.2 .2 on the display. That indicates it's now unlocked. And then we can also turn the unlock off by pressing the walk button. Now it shows 1.1, so we're back to standard.